let's talk about the density based algorithm. When you do image processing, most images contain a lot of noises. And uh, it's uh, only you can use the intensity of the density of the points and all those to identify the cartoon, you know, the outline of the curve and uh, all those things. So in image processing, dancing based algorithm is very important. So there's three concepts about the points. You know when you take an image, we are talking about usually, uh, let's say here is uh, 1,024 pixels. Here maybe 800 pixels. Doesn't matter, you know, have different resolutions. But the, each point in there, they have a neighbor. So you look at the point with the neighbor points you can identify and then look at the distances from the uh, points in the neighborhood, then you can look at the density. So three concepts are relevant. First, you have a radius. That's always a look at the distance, you call it X. And then in that circle, you're going to look at the core points. You put again a threshold called the minimum point you need. Four or five, okay, let's say. And then if you can find the five points in the circle centered at your point, past the threshold, then you say this is a core point. That basically is the one you are interested in. It's not the noise. And then have a board, a board point. Those points are basically you are not sure if it's core or not a core. And they are basically fewer than the minimum points in the circle, but they have a neighbor. It's a core point. But in the circle, there's one point, it's a core point. Basically, they're close to the core points, right? So it's the fourth point or marginal point. A noise point is neither a fourth point nor a core point. That means it does not have enough points, does not have a core point in the middle. So that's the, the type of points, three types. So to understand this concept, you look at this. Uh, that point is a core point because our minimum is four. We have five points here, can you see? Then that's a core point. And the, this point, if it, this is the center, you only got the three, four points there here, but you didn't did not pass that. However, you have the core point inside. So this will be the border point. Uh, that one is a noise point. You don't have, you have three, only three points, no four points, that's a noise point. So the first time you clean up is to take away the noise point because they are irrelevant. So the algorithm is pretty simple. The first round, you scan through all the points, define them by using the distance and the circle, X the core point, the border point, and the noise point. Basically, you eliminate the noise point and the color, the core point, different from the border points. That's the first one. And then what the next is, you're going to put the cluster name on it. The cluster name, how do you do the cluster name? You have four, two of the four loops. And in here, for each core point, if not named, you put a name, and then it's kind of like a bottom up. First, start from a lot of clusters, and then you can kind of merge if you want. Or you can top down, but this is a bottom up. You first give the first one as the first cluster, and then if you have a new one, give another name, and then and you label it. In all this, the second for loop is uh, uh, if the point does not have a labor, then you labor. This this for loop is look at all the core points 
in one scan and in, if does not have a labor labor. And then in the end, of course, how do you merge? I don't see that detail. Look at this. This is the original points. And then now after you look at this, uh, that's the noise point. And uh, that's the green at the core points. Uh, the border points uh, are, what are you color? I cannot see the difference. Yeah, that's the two color, purple. Can you see the purple? The purple is the border. And then the clusters based on the connection. You see, each when you in the for loop, if all those things are connected in this, and uh, then you are going to use the same cluster name in the <coughs> loop here. And if they are not connected with a certain distance, then you are going to choose a different labor name. That's how you're going to run up. In this case, you have one. Two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven, six of the clusters. That's how you image. You recognize the handwriting, even you know sometimes um, <laughs> a thick print. You can do that way, and in the process, face. So when it does not work well, what's the problem of this uh, point set? The, the density is very high. Medium, low, and uh, they are very diversified, have a very varying density. That's not going to do well because it's hard for you to define the minimum points to cut it. Because the minimum points are here, unless you treat all those as a noise, otherwise they are very different. Can you see it? You have to have a different cut. So the graph. Basically, telling you how many p points in here have the short first distance is about uh, 500. Can you see? And then the rest, the 3,000 points, that distance is so bigger than this. You know, that is the distance. So um, that's how you look at the points. And then you're going to make a decision how big is your circle? Should it be the best? From this graph, I would say I will cut it somewhere like this. This is the distance to get the four points. They're all four points, by the way. They all look at the fourth distance. So I would say I will cut this distance like uh, five, probably is a good to cut. Ten, maybe too big. And uh, probably around here, anywhere between five to ten, that's your threshold, your cutting mark. Make sense? If this is like this, uniform. And this is a nice graph. Your cutting line, basically, it's around here. You're going to cut it about 2,500 out of 3,000 if you cut it here. Can you see it? That's a good cut. If here is too small, you cut it too little, right? And here you cut it too much. Make sense? And this is a very uniform, good graph. But if you look at this back, what kind of graph will be like this? Think about it. If you look at the four spaces, four spaces. anywhere out there, I guess the, the graph will look like this. Just if I can really guess. You see the density of the three part? It's going to be like uh, this, and this, and this. Did you see that? That gives you a very difficult the time to cut where's your threshold. <coughs> because you see, this represents this three group of points, right? Very close. And this is top to this chunk. And then this is this chunk, right? Then you, regardless of how you're going to cut it, it's not going to be good. Make sense? OK, you understand this, then you know this is what you are key. Like the Kenyans neighborhood, what you pay make a whole difference. You remember this uh, um, entomology classification with this uh, region. <laughs> cut of three is the best. If you cut of one, no good. Cut of five, no good. Cut of three. But here, what you cut this X is the most important. 